So a couple of posts ago, I did a video on how I teach a bossa nova to a new student. Now in typical internet fashion, I ended up getting a lot of people in the comments saying, oh, that's the wrong way to teach it, or this is doing a disservice to your student, or that's more complicated, things to that nature. Now I understand that different teachers are gonna have their own methodology. When another drummer comes out and says that way is wrong, or it's more complicated, or it's not gonna work, they're basing that on their feeling, not on data. Now all that being said, my student Rick saw that lesson and took it upon himself to download some sheet music on the bossa nova to give it a try. And he graciously gave me permission to show you guys how that whole drum lesson on the bossa nova unfolded. So let's check it out. I had to download this after that pause of the video you did today. Okay. <laughs> I started doing it. I replied to it. Like Good. Me. I'll have to do it two or three times. But okay. I have a hard time with it. So. Right. You're close. And this is what every student does. They look at it in layers. This hand's doing this, this hand's doing that part, the bass drum's playing the other part, and you layer all them together. And this way, it's not talking about counting, it's not one end to two end of. it's just to resolve the coordination. Then you could go back to one end, one end to two end of once you, once you have it under your hands. If you could say it, you could play it. I just want you to say that over and over again. So every time you say one, that's where you, that's going to be your cross stick. Try that with the cross stick now. So you're going to count it, put the cross stick on one, but if there's a circle, that's a kick too. You feel what that feels like? Let's look at the second group. One, two, three, but one and two have a kick. This is the hard part. Yes, that's it, that's all it is. Try this, go backwards. Do the first group and the second group. One, two, three, one, two, three. The next group's gonna be one, two, three, four. Okay, good, now let's go back to the top and play all the way through to that. That was it. The next group, the fourth group. Okay. It's kind of identical to the one you just did, but there's no four. One, two, three. All right, so. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then it loops. All right. One, two, three. You're doing the hard part. You're doing the, the meat of the exercise. The final step, everything that you say, you add a ride to it and don't think about the ride. And then just focus on what you're doing with the left hand and the right foot. That was it. Perfect. Yeah, it's beautiful. See what I mean? That's the bossa nova, my friend. Now that's way, way cleaner than what you were doing before. Is it right in terms of how you're counting? No, because what you're doing is you're, I'm having you count the subdivision of the tambourine part. I'm making you count those subdivisions and I'm putting the tambourine on a one. And the reason I'm doing that is I, I don't want that to feel so syncopated for you. So if you have to go one E, a two E, a three E, a four E, that's very syncopated and you have to hit a lot of weak beats. When you hear one, 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 it doesn't feel syncopated. Then we could step away from this and we're gonna talk about one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a one. But to try to do it all together, it's not impossible and how most people do it. But I used to spend three lessons on it where now I can knock it out in 15 minutes. 15 minutes, you're already playing it. The whole, with all three limbs. Now this whole process from soup to nuts took Rick about 15 to 20 minutes to get that bossa nova pattern under his hands. Now I wanna extend a special thank you to Rick because it takes a lot of courage to allow people to see you in this vulnerable place in a drum lesson learning something new. And Rick graciously allowed us to delve into his private lesson and see this whole process. So Rick, thank you so much and you did an amazing job. Now, based on this video and seeing Rick's progress, what do you think? Do you agree with this method? Would you give it a try? 
or is it something that you disagree with? Either way, I'd love to hear your input. Thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to comment and I'll see you on the next one.